Will of the Wisp is a very abstract, kind of archaic English term that has a handful of different meanings. In European folklore, Will of the Wisps are atmospheric ghost lights often seen in humid weather conditions. In places like swamps and marshes, it's the glowy light that appears unexplainably in the atmosphere. European myths and legends title this phenomenon Will of the Wisp, claiming that it's the lingering spirits of the dead wandering in the living world. As unexplainable and intangible as these lights are, Will of the Wisp in literature is a noun that refers to anything that is very difficult or outright impossible to obtain. A will of the wisp can be a goal or ambition that leads somebody on, but in all reality, they can never really reach it. Jay Gatsby's unrequited love for Daisy in The Great Gatsby is his own will of the wisp, for example. A love between them is feasible from Gatsby's eyes, yet Daisy's unwillingness to reciprocate that love makes Gatsby's goals unattainable in all reality. It's his own will of the wisp, a goal that motivates and leads him on, but in all reality can never happen. As I said, it's quite an abstract English term that to my knowledge has only appeared in K-pop two times. Both of those instances just so happen to be in 2022 and oddly released just 10 days apart from each other. If you haven't guessed it already, the two songs I'm talking about are Espa's Illusion and La Seraphim's Blue Flame. With a basic understanding of what Will o' the Wisp means in mind, I want to walk through the narrative of both of these songs and figure out why this pretty abstract term was used. The Seraphim debuted in May of 2022 with the Fearless Mini album. The song Blue Flame on the album was a promoted B-side and features the line Will of the Wisp in all of its post-choruses. <laughs> Blue Flame is a song all about passion and desire, and how fear tends to implicate these feelings as a part of the album's larger narrative about fearlessness. Despite the fear the narrator has of the unknown, they almost unwillingly push through their fears, unable to resist the feeling of desire. The force leading the narrator on, playing the role of the Will of the Wisp, is their passion. It's an interesting comparison to make, given the nature of the Will of the Wisp is misleading by nature, as it's something that is never tangible or attainable in all reality. This brings us to the larger implication of the force that's carrying our narrator along being a blue flame. As attractive as it is to look at, a physical limitation prevents us from touching it without getting injured or burned. Reality sets in place this kind of restriction, but it doesn't stop humans or the narrator from wondering what it's like to touch the flame. In the case of the narrative of this song, it doesn't stop her at all, actually. The narrator decides to push the limits to the point that she burns her hands. The will of the wisp becomes tangible, in a way, as she pushes beyond expectations. This idea, going beyond established limits and setting your own path, is a consistent narrative through line throughout all of La Seraphim's work so far. Having overcome the blue flame in this way, the narrator ends the song by feeling a strong sense of resolve. She identified a limitation and found a way to surpass it, being driven by the fear of the unknown rather than allowing that to rule over her. This is why I think Will of the Wisp appears in this song. La Seraphim invokes the narrative convention of the impossible goal as represented by the blue flame that is appealing to look at but dangerous to touch. The narrator betrays the flame's limitations for humans, decides to touch the flame, burns her hand, and thus overcomes fear in the process. She's conquered the will of the wisp in that way, overcame her fears and made something tangible out of what was originally intangible. La Seraphim's fearlessness is a matter of perspective, and so the illusion of the will of the wisp can be made real if it's something the narrator truly wants. Espa releases Illusion 10 days later, a pre-release single that is sung lyrically from the perspective of the Black Mamba, the primary villain of Espa's storyline at the time. Espa's use of Will of the Wisp is a lot more abstract and up for speculation than what we see in Blue Flame, as it directly relates to the story and lore of this group. The song's Korean name, Doki Bibur, is the Korean name for the Will of the Wisp phenomenon. A common complaint people have about Will of the Wisp in the pre-chorus of this song is that it's hard to hear or to make out when and how it's being said. And whether that was intentional or not, it does add a lot of thematic value to the idea behind the Will of the Wisp being something that's hard to make out. The Black Mamba lures her prey into isolation, guiding them to a goal or destination that in all reality was never real. She functions as a will of the wisp in this way, misleading the members of Espa. What's up for speculation when it comes to the meaning of this song is what is the full extent of the Black Mamba's role as the will of the wisp? Is it just a ploy to lure the members into a trap, or is the entire existence of the Black Mamba a will of the wisp? My own personal idea about Espa's storyline is that the Black Mamba was some kind of ruse as a part of a larger plan in the group's narrative. The only song 
in Espa's discography that is sung from the perspective of the Black Mamba, being titled Illusion and Will of the Wisp, kind of adds to my theory that perhaps the entire story arc leading to the Black Mamba's defeat has misled the members of Espa into some kind of trap. As for what exactly that trap is, I believe it's still rolling out with Espa's storyline, as we're only just now touching on the Cosmos and entities via the Armageddon music video, who I personally speculate have been behind everything. In any case, Illusion invokes the Will of the Wisp term as it intends to showcase the mannerisms of the Black Mamba. She is a villain who is a cunning tactician, and who wins by deceiving her enemies and attacking in a time or way that they least expect it. And yeah, that's the idea behind this video. Just an interesting coincidence that happened in 2022 that, to my knowledge, I don't know of any other K-pop song that uses Will of the Wisp, or even the Korean term, Doki Bibur, but I might be wrong about that. The fact that these songs were released 10 days apart from each other is pretty interesting, pretty cool, in my opinion. And yeah, that's all for me. Kind of a weird video premise, but I found it interesting and I don't know, I wanted to talk about this. Let me know what you think, if you have any other ideas about these songs, any other theories about why Will of the Wisp was used specifically. Yeah, thanks again for watching, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time.